Hey everybody, I'm actually back with a movie review. I just did the review for The House of Horror. I'm extremely late on it, and I'm sorry. I have a sick child in the house. So that means everything has been put on hold for the past couple of days. Uh, but I wanted to do this review because I am in a Jack Ketchum frenzy. Um, and that movie, obviously, can tell by the title. And my blog entry is Red. Um, Red was released in 2008. It stars primarily Tom Sizemore and uh, um, Brian Cox. I know his name. I don't know why. I had a blank there for a moment. Um, it also stars, if you're curious about the supporting cast, Robert England, but he's barely in it, uh, Amanda Plummer, Noel Fisher, Kyle Gall Gallagher, or Galliner, sorry, Shiloh Ferdinand, uh, Richard Rochelle, and Kim Dickens. And if I mispronounced any of those names, I apologize. But basically, the reason I'm doing the review of this film is I completely, absolutely fell in love with it. It has been a very, very, very long time since I have watched a film. And it's just left to such a profound impact that I'm like, I've got to buy this. This I have to own it. I rented it, as you can see. It's not enough to rent it. So before I start, it, this review is going to contain very mild spoilers. Um, and I would highly suggest, this is why I'm not going to include it, that you do not watch the trailer. If you would like, read the little bit of description in the description bar for the synopsis and go into it like that. If you watch the trailer, it gives away very key, pivotal plot points. And I'm not sure if you want to do that. If you do, that that's totally up to you. But if, if you don't want to know, I highly suggest you stay away from that trailer now. Because the trailer is going to tell you far more than I am. So, here we go. Into Red. Um, Red is about Brian Cox. His character's name is Avery. He's an older Korean war vet. Um, he's very... Uh, he's had a hard life, but you don't really know why. One day, he gets up in the morning with his trusty dog, which is the name of the book and the title. Red. Red, you find out, was a gift to him as the movie progresses from his wife, who is no longer with him. You know, she's passed away. And so he goes with Red down to a local fishing spot in the woods uh, so that they can catch some fish and just relax. Two old men together. He's had Red for 14 years. Um, or 13. The dog is 14. They go down to the lake. Some teenage boys show up. What starts out as a kind of innocent enough conversation quickly, quickly becomes violent when the boys try to rob Avery. Uh, when Avery tries to give them what they want, one of the boys, in just a random act of cruelty, evilness, meanness, shoots Red and kills the dog. You have Avery, who is dumbfounded by what has happened to him. He doesn't understand it. He doesn't understand why, why someone would do something so cruel. He th therefore turns to the family of the young man, the boys. He tra ends up tracking them down to try to get them to punish their sons who are involved for what they've done and they do not they're of a richer family they don't really care uh, you also have the other son who is from a poor upbringing this is where Robert England comes in he plays his father they also do nothing about it he therefore turns to the police to an uh, attorney to try to prosecute he does everything that he possibly can and when your best just isn't good enough what are you gonna do about it you'll find out what he decides to do about it in red I'm not going to say anything more. Um, I thought this movie, on so many levels, was just brilliant. I thought that it was horror originally, because Jack Ketchum is horror, and this is one of his books I have not read, but I ordered it. It's coming. I cannot wait to read it. Um, but it's so much deeper. And the, the, the movie is... <laughs> I love the movie so much that uh, with my sick child, because uh, I'm sitting here trying to do two things, I actually watched it again. It's... Brian Cox delivers, a, he gives a performance that is so profound that I actually had chills running up the back of my neck at, at times. He plays Avery very understated. He's not this vengeful, angry man. He just wants some kind of repercussion, some kind of acknowledgement of his loss. That's all, that's all he wants is some kind of acknowledgement and, and sorrow and sadness and um, regret regrets the perfect word for what they've done and when he doesn't get it and you learn his history and you learn about his life the it, it's kind of crazy it's a it's a very compound complex juxtapose of his history and his present and it comes together brilliantly and you can put so many things together and paste them together especially if you watch it a second time that you may not catch the first time around um, some people have complained that they didn't I will mention this. Didn't like the ending. I did. I thought that it, it brought everything back the way that it should be. Um, but if you're looking for a movie, don't be afraid of the word drama. 
because they would probably technically say this is a suspense thriller, but it does have a, a heavy drama. Brian Cox is in every scene, and he nails every scene. I mean, every single one. He's brilliant in this. Um, don't be afraid of it. This is definitely one of my favorite movies now. Uh, I absolutely loved it. As I said, I loved it enough that I begged for, I was like, can I please get the print copy? My husband said yes, and I said, if you want to get me something for Christmas, I would love to have a first edition of that puppy. <laughs> puppy. No pun intended, people. No pun intended. Uh, so, it, it's that good. If you've not seen it, I got this at the video store. I'm sure it is on Netflix. Give her a shot. I'd love to know what you think about it. I, I loved it. I thought that it was just great. And, of course, you have Tom Sosmore ever. I don't... I, there are a few actors, and it's funny, because Brian Cox is one of them, who's very good at playing a douchebag. Tom just has it in his gene pool somewhere, because in this one, he is stellar as the father of the boys who have committed this crime, especially the one that pulled the trigger. He is such an ass. I mean, just you just want to reach to the screen and just smack him around a few times. So, definitely check it out if you've not seen Red. I really enjoyed it. Okay, everyone, I'm going to go. Uh, this review is over six minutes. Oh, my goodness, I didn't mean to make it this long, but I hope that you did enjoy it. Uh, I, I usually do my ratings. I'm not going to bother with them. Um, there's not a lot of gore. There's uh, not a lot of sexuality. Um, it, overall enjoyment, I give it a five. So there we go. I'm not even going to worry about this goals this time around. So I hope you all have a wonderful night. Hopefully I'll be back soon with another movie review. And uh, if not, hopefully I will talk to you on your channels or in a comment soon. Okay, I will see you all later. Bye.